forging forging is one of the oldest metal forming process metal forming process so forging is a deformation process in which the work is compressed in between two dies for example if i take one die on the top surface and a metal i will try to place and on the bottom side i am going to place another die one be a fixed die one will be a movable die and i am trying to apply the pressure so due to the application of pressure whatever the shape of the die is there the material the material or the metal which is there in 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 the center it will try to deform its shape depending upon the pressure so that's why the impact or a gradual pressure to the part and I have mentioned it is one of the oldest metal forming process it is basically defined as shaping heated metal by compression we are heating the material at certain temperatures and then we are going for compression it the forging process is superior to the casting in that the pots formed have denser microstructures more defined grain patterns less porosity making such pots more stronger than casting when we compare with the atal and other process casting process forging process pots will be more stronger because of the patterns and the less porosity these forgings have very great strength as compared with other methods of producing various kinds of other products so types of forging among them the first one is open die forging in this the work is compressed in between two flat dies two flat dies thus allowing the metal to flow without a constraint in a lateral direction any of the direction relative to the die surfaces so a force is applied here certain force like call it as an f and because of this force applied the metal which is there in the black color is trying to deviate its shape because of the force drawing out or reducing the cross section of an ingot or billet to lengthen it upsetting or reducing the length of an ingot or billet to a larger diameter so each of these things can be possible in open die forging and applications of this uh, open die forging are it is used for manufacturing of step shafts as well as sharp solid shafts whenever there is increase of diameter at multiple locations as well as it is used for hollow cylindrical shapes ring like pots as well as contour formed metal shells which are like pressure vessels which will be very bigger of bigger in size next one impression die forging so in this impression die forging a definite shape of the die will be there and it contain a shape that is going to be impressed onto the metal surface due to the work hardening the metal will get deformed into the shape of the die constraining to the metal flow to a significant degree and here some extensions will be there those are going to be term it as a flash in this impression die forging one die is fixed die one is movable die like upper die is a movable and lower die is a fixed one more complex shapes which is having a closer tolerances can be manufactured by using the impression die forging and the applications for this one is block like rectangular solids disk like configurations and most intricate components with thin on long sections which will be very high vertical projections like uh, very long ribs uh, which will be of uh, i i i shape ribs which will be of very having longer sections can able to be forged by using the impression die forging and the next one is flashless forging in the impression die forging we have seen some kind of a flash which is left over no in the earlier slide so this is the flash so here they will not be having any formation of the flash so that's why it is called as a flashless forging if you observe this diagram so this is one die and this is one die a metal has been placed and i am going to get some kind of a shape like this by applying the force on the top surface 
so the work is completely constrained within the die and no excess flash is produced the volume of starting of the work piece must be controlled very closely so that it matches the volume of die cavity so here it can be used with the help of a mechanical or hydraulic process if you observe that and this is one kind of a hydraulic press where at the bottom side we can able to see die and this is the, the stationary die and a movable die in between this one we can able to see metal next applications and this applications are particularly used in precision forgings halo forgings fittings elbows and various kinds of tees forging tools so every forging operation consisting of some category of tools so the first one is anvil so anvil is going to be look like this it is a supporting device where it can able to have can able to withstand heavy blows this this structure is fully made up of cast iron or wrought iron here you can able to see a square hole which is used for holding of fillers and swages we will discuss this what is this fillers and swages little bit later in the next slides and this round hole is going to be hold the punches or drips and you can able to see anvil horn which is going to be protruded forward and this is the entire structure of the body the next one is a swage block so swage block consisting of uh, multiple number of holes as well as uh, square and rectangle blocks on the top surface of a block it is totally made up of a cast iron and these grooves are used for holding of the bars while bending and supporting various kinds of operations and this is going to be placed on the top surface of a cast iron sand next one hammers so we are having multiple number of hammers like straight pin hammer cross pin hammer ball pin hammer and sledge hammer so these hammers will try to give some amount of force to the work piece surface so the slight convex striking face are generally weighing from 1 to 1.5 kg the sledge hammer are usually 3 to 4 times heavier than the hand hammers so this hammers are particularly used for heavy blows next one is tongs so tongs and tongs are the tools which are going to hold the work pieces since forging is an operation which is going to be done by heating the material whenever we are heating the material the very the metal will be very hot because we cannot able to touch so we need to hold that one with the help of a tong so this tong is basically made up of mild steel depending upon the inner shape of the tong this name is going to be hold uh, named like this is a clip shape clip tong this is a flat shape flat tong and this is a pickup tong so we can able to see pickup tong and square billet sandal we can able to handle by using a square bit tong next swages so swages are going to reduce and finish the job to get an exact shape and size so whatever the object is there the object we will try to place it here and this one we will fix it in the anvil and then we will apply the load on the top surface with the help of the handle the work piece rotated between the swages which are hammered to produce a smooth surface so basically whenever a metal is heated on the top surface of the metal you can able to see some kinds of scales because of this oxides formation will be there by continuous hammering of this metal these oxides will be removed from the surface to make to get a good surface on the round surface of the parts next one fillers so fillers will be looking like exactly similar to the swages but opposite in the fillers you can able to see a cone structures which are facing opposite to each other and these are used for necking down the work piece this tries to spread spread the metal and reduce the thickness of the work pieces and narrow the sections and most important thing is it is going to narrow the sections and these are used mainly in various kinds of forging operations 
where small bo- uh, small manufacturing is required the job is small and the next one is flatters so flatter is used for making the surface flat so this will be the flatter it is looking like a hammer we will try to place the work piece at the bottom and at the top surface with the help of this handle we will try to hold the work piece and apply some force due to that one the work piece will become flat